Hey guys, today I'm going to be doing my out of box review for the HGUC Blue Destiny Unit 1 exam. I don't really know why they stick like exam on the name. I, I, I know it like has the exam system and everything and that's like a thing, but they don't we don't call like the XS Gundam the XS Alice, right? Cuz it has just cuz it has the system. I don't know why they stick it in the name. It's kind of weird, but it is technically on the box as like part of the main name, but anyway, this is a pretty cool kit. It is quite similar, really, in a way, to the Ground GM, which came out earlier at the beginning of this year. It was sharing that main runner, so like pretty much all of the joints and everything of the kit uh, are from that exact same runner from that uh, Ground GM, so it makes sense that it would feel very similar. But I do have to say, I definitely liked the Ground GM more than this. Um, I talked about in the unboxing that it's just the all blue is just too much blue for me, it's a little bit boring. Uh, but I just felt like the Ground GM was just a little bit more solid kit. Really the only thing that was kind of disappointing about that was that um, we didn't have like the front chest vents in the right color, molded in the right color, and that's just like a, a small thing that you can just easily paint, right? But um, this one, it has a few more seam lines on it and a couple stickers, really not that bad. The stickers on this kit uh, really aren't too bad. It's kind of mostly just for the eyes and cameras, there's really only a couple of them. But um, it's just a little bit lackluster in the accessories as well. The Ground GM had a lot of really awesome weapons, and this one doesn't really have that much, and it's weapons that we've had before in previous kits, so it's nothing new. So that just felt a little bit boring as well. Also, I just feel like the proportions aren't quite right for this kit. It's very short and stocky looking, and I guess that's kind of how it, it's supposed to look. I mean, it looks pretty canon, I guess, but... Uh, it just doesn't really look the most intimidating, I think, as it is now. But I don't know, I, I'm also just not the biggest fan of just the Blue Destiny series, uh, any of them really all that much. And it was just announced just yesterday that we are going to be getting the Unit 2 out as a P at uh, not a P-Bandai, sorry, as just a regular release uh, later. I think it is, is said uh, in December. So at the time of when I filmed the unboxing, I didn't know that, but... Uh, that has now been announced, so we will at least be getting the Unit 2. Unit 3, I would assume, will probably be coming as well, whether that's going to be p Bandai or not. I don't know, we'll have to see. But uh, building the kit was uh, very easy, very quick. It was just a pretty normal HG. You can see I did use a couple of those marking stickers there on the shoulders on the shield as well here, which we'll come back to in a minute, but we do have a, a few more that I didn't use. You actually have an option of the like number, the 01. There's two different styles, this one and that kind of like longer, thinner one. I'm guessing that's kind of, one of them is more accurate to the game version and one is the manga version, like similarly how we have two different heads. One is the game version, one's the uh, manga version. So anyway, use those. So the stickers on there look okay, but uh, you are going to see the outline of those, so they're passable, sort of, but I wouldn't use them on a painted kit if I was painting this. Anyway, the head uh, has some nice articulation, plenty far up to there. You can see we have the green uh, color there for the visor. You actually have you have two heads and two visors, so we'll just talk about that now. Uh, this one with the green visor is the game version. And then this other one with the red visor is the manga version. I personally like the manga version better. So you actually have the stickers here for the foil stickers. You have enough stickers to make um, either head in either color. So you can have this head either in uh, green or red. And then this head you can make it in either green or red. You have the choice. But you only have two of the clear parts for the visors. So you can't like have both in red or you can't have both in green. You have to choose... Uh, one and one if you get what I mean. So you have all the stickers you need to do either or for both But as far as the clear parts go you don't have enough So I kind of think it would have been nice if Benda would have given us a, one more set of the clear uh, Parts as well, but unfortunately they did not the eyes are also different the eyes inside here are like the circle eyes Which are really cool. They're probably gonna be quite hard to see Hopefully you guys can sort of see that and then in this one are like kind of the standard type kind of Gundam eyes again really hard to see I think but they are pretty cool. I think once it's painted, it might be a little bit easier to see. But here in the shoulders, they're just that a typical shoulder joint, uh, but it's not a poly cap. It's actually just a, a plastic piece, but that will rotate up rather than forward to there. And then you can bring the arm all the way up to there. So really good articulation there <laughs> upward on the arm. That's pretty amazing. This little bit here on the shoulder also extends out just a, just a tiny bit like that. Not that much, but that does come out there. We also have some rotation at the top of the arm, bend in the elbow, and then the wrist is just on a ball joint, so nice articulation there. But here on the forearm, you can see 
sorry, uh, that seam line here. So a seam line there on the forearm going through that and on the inside as well, the seam line there. So kind of unfortunate they didn't figure out a different way to mold this, maybe just like a front half and a back half of this forearm rather than two halves to make it sandwich. But um, yeah, so that's kind of one of the more annoying seam lines. There is also a seam line on the top of the shoulder, but it's a little bit more hidden there, but probably still will want to go through the work of wiping that one out there as well. Here in the waist section, we have some pretty nice bend forward to there, and it's nice we have the gray parts for here and here. This here on the front of the triangle is of course a sticker. And then back to there, front and back a little bit, not too much, side to side a little bit, not too crazy. And the front skirts are molded together, but you can uh, snip them apart. The manual actually tells you to cut them apart, and actually they they they're like they're kind of like an SD kit. You know how the gates on an SD kit are like made to just be like broken off without using actually any cutters. They're just like the gaze super super small and thin. That's how it was on like between these side skirts. So like even from just handling the part, you'll probably break it and separate them anyway. But those go in there nice and firmly, no problem at all. Side skirts as well go up and down, no problem there. Back skirt is not going to move anywhere. We do have one more of that little triangle sticker there. This backpack doesn't really have anything moving on there. It's just kind of a big, kind of ugly looking block, to be honest. So with the side skirts up, you can get the legs totally out to the side and no problems there. The front skirts get out of the way of the legs going up pretty well. You can get a nice double joint in the knee to get a full bend there at the knee. That's nice, but no knee separation at all. I suppose you could maybe some way cut this knee part off and affix that here to the to the front of that and you can maybe get that to separate a bit but uh, rotation at the top there as well and then down here are the ankles not really going to be a whole lot of side to side movement in the ankles this uh, front ankle ankle armor uh, does move up and down on its own there there's a seam line on here as well if you can see that that line there so it kind of goes around the edge of that shape but then it's like on the top and bottom there's a seam, you'll have to get rid of that as well. On the back of the leg, the seam is uh, hidden here, so I don't really need to worry about that too much. The toes will move up a little bit, but not down, so you can move them up just a bit there. The whole ankle itself will only go, only allow the foot to go down to there, and forward to this. So forward's pretty fine, back, wish it would go back a little bit more. And then here you can see we have a red sticker inside the vent as well, and then the red little triangle sticker on the front of the knees. So all the articulation is really nice. Again, same as the ground GM, which was really fun, very easy to pose, so that's not going to be an issue for this kit. Just want to give you another look here at the head. There was some safety flags on these little tips there, cut those off, sharpen those. We do have a little white sticker, so actually the end of like the top one, you can see is that separate little part, that's actually supposed to be white. But the sticker is made to fit around the flag as well, so it, it just wouldn't fit around here if I tried to put it on, so I just didn't bother with that at all. Uh, but we do have a really nice head here, like I said, I do like this one more, So, but I'll, I'll switch that out a little bit later. Aside from just the two holding hands that we have on the kit, we do have a third hand, just an open hand like this. And then we do have a, a set of hands like from the GM kit, but they're a little bit differently shaped. So you can see here, here's the one for this kit, and the fingers are more rounded. Uh, but you do, you could use the other like original hands from the ground GM if you want, but uh, they're a little bit more square instead of being rounded, so I don't know if that's really going to make a difference, but if you like the look of these more, you can use them. You have a set of those for just holding hands as well. These are the only like leftover extra parts from the kit that you won't use, is just the uh, hands from the ground GM. So if you like the more squared fingers, you can use those instead. We have the shield, which you saw briefly before. i got a couple of stickers on there, just to show you how that looks. Uh, you can definitely see the outline of that sticker there on that darker blue. On the back, again, same as with the ground GM. It has the little kickstand, so you can have that standing up on its own. It has the mounts to the forearm, which can be turned and extended to have the shield actually like pointing out away, like sort of used as a blunt weapon there. We have the machine gun. Very nicely detailed, but ultimately pretty boring. This part does fold back very tightly, like that, and then of course the secondary handle comes out like that. So it's cool, but Nothing really all that exciting. And then the only other accessory is just these uh, vents for the backpack. So when you're using it in exam mode, you'll just take off these little bits here on the top, take that off, and then plug these in instead, sort of like that's uh, opened up, I guess, like that. So that's how that is going to look when you're using the exam mode. That definitely looks better, but uh, we'll, again, we'll look at that in a bit here. 
Oh, and I suppose I also forgot to mention that the beam saber handles are actually stored in the sides of the legs, sort of like the uh, ground type Gundam and EZ-8, like that. Uh, which this kit is just, of course, the design of the uh, Blue Destiny is going to be very akin to those mobile suits as well. Anyway, so opposing the kit is not a problem at all. Uh, like I said, it's sharing all the joints with the ground type GM, which is a really nicely posable kit. And so you're not going to have any problems doing some ground type poses. I'm sure you could probably do really nicely as well. Um, just if you have a base like this, it definitely helps. I gotta say though, otherwise I'm pretty much coming up empty on really anything too much more positive. I can really rave about this kit. I mean, we already had the version of this kit out in the HDUC line before, so it's nice that we're getting this new one, and it's definitely a big improvement, I'm sure. But it's just one of those things, like, if you really like the design, then uh, it's a really nice kit. But uh, if it's not very interesting for you, then it's uh, not going to be all that exciting, I don't think. So as for any negatives about the kit, I mean, aside from it just being a little bit boring, there's really not too much to say negative about what we actually get. This, this is really only just a few stickers, really nothing too bad. There's a few seam lines, that's a little bit annoying, but it is an HD, so it's not too surprising. Could have been better, could have been worse, so that's new, but not too bad. I think the positives of this kit definitely outweigh the negatives. The only thing that I would really say is kind of maybe what really could have helped this kit is what was not included. I think it's nice that we have, that we have the one uh, extra open hand for the left hand. It would have been nice to have a another open hand for the right hand, but again, that's uh, very that's asking a lot from Bandai, it seems. But at least like one other weapon as well. Again, I'm not really sure. Maybe like according to canon, what it really uses that much in the game. Maybe it doesn't really use anything other than just like the beam saber and the machine gun. But it would have been nice to just have something new in in terms of the accessories because these are accessories that we've seen with other kits before. Uh, so that just doesn't really bring a whole lot of excitement to this release, I think. Oh yeah, and I forgot for exam mode, you're actually supposed to open this thing here on the legs. So you open this up like that, and then if you want to have him like reaching for his beam saber handle, that's where the beam saber handle is stored inside there. Take that off, take this part off, move this down to the lower notch, then put this back on, and then that vent looks like that part of the leg is like kind of, the vent is extended down like that. Anyway, that's how it's supposed to be for the exam mode. Alright, I also forgot that you're supposed to extend that little bit on the shoulder that I talked about in the articulation, that little bit on the shoulder that pops out just a little bit, you're supposed to extend that out for the exam mode as well, so did that, and so now it's in full exam mode anyway, so that's pretty much going to do it for this review, guys, really not a whole lot to say about this kit, I mean, pretty much what you see is what you get, and you get a really nice kit, so like I said before, if you like the design of this kit, if you like the Blue Destiny design, then uh, get this kit, you'll absolutely love it, it's a really, really nice kit. If you're just kind of on the fence, if you're looking for just a really nice HG kit, uh, I would recommend the ground type GM over this. It has more weapons and I think it's just a, it's just kind of a little bit more interesting overall if you are into GM kits. But anyway, definitely not bad. I have a very strong feeling that I'm going to like this kit a lot more once I get it painted in a different color. I don't have any plans to paint it anytime soon, but whenever I get around to painting this and just giving it a, a different color scheme, I, I'm sure it will probably immediately make me like the design a whole lot more. I think that blue is just really distracting me, but uh, anyway, that is pretty much it for the review, guys. Once again, a huge thank you to USA Gundam Store for supplying me with this kit to check out and share my thoughts with you guys. So again, if you guys want to check this out on USA Gundam Store, use the coupon code ZAKUARELEASE10, save yourself 10%, and uh, check out what other stuff they got on there too. They got a lot of cool stuff. So say thanks to them. Thank you guys for watching. And as always, if you have questions, comments, leave those down below, guys. See you next time. Have a good one. Bye bye. Hey, thanks for watching, guys. Remember, if you want to check the kit out for yourself, you can head over to USA Gundam Store. Use that coupon code ZAKUARELIUS10. Save yourself 10%. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next time. Bye bye.